This is Marco with Tennis Pal, and this is the Tennis Minute. It is well known that McEnroe said that he had more talent in his pinky finger than Lendl had in his entire body. Lendl holds a 21-15 edge on this rivalry. However, it's the meetings in Grand Slam finals that really shed light on the transition of dominance from McEnroe to Lendl. Let's start with 84. This was the best year McEnroe had as a professional, going 83-3 and and capturing Wimbledon and the U.S. Open along the way. However, the 1984 French Open, McEnroe would meet Yvonne Lendl, who was still looking to capture his first Grand Slam at 24 years of age. McEnroe already held five Grand Slam titles to his name and had finished the year ranked number one three years in a row. McEnroe was clearly the favorite, and it looked as though he would take the title in three sets. Lendl would take the third set and win it in five. McEnroe says he still has nightmares about this final. Fortunately for McEnroe, Lendl did not spook him enough to beat him at the 1984 U.S. Open. Having captured Wimbledon a few months earlier, McEnroe came in as confident as ever on his home turf and beat Lendl easily in three sets to claim his fourth and final U.S. Open. They would meet again at the 1985 U.S. Open final. McEnroe would be the number one seed again and Lendl the number two seed. This time around, it would be Lendl winning in three straight sets. Lendl would finish 1985 as the number one player and would never look back. He would finish number one four additional times in the late 80s. John McEnroe would take a break from tennis in 1986 and would struggle to regain his form for the rest of his career. Like always, don't forget to jump on the Tennis Pal app to stay up to date on tennis news, find groups of friends to play with, and get a virtual coach to help with your tennis game.